everyone, and it's PJ with ZooFit. Um, experimenting a little bit, giving you a, another taste of how ZooFit can fit into your life, especially in the current environment that we're experiencing. Um, uh, some, I've been hearing a lot on Twitter, on Facebook, and social media, people asking, oh my gosh, what do I do about eating? A lot of us have gotten really used to eating out often or having convenient foods um, delivered or just again grabbing a bite to eat on the way home and now we're in this predicament where we're stuck at home uh, fixing our own meals and not very comfortable in the kitchen and then we watch these amazing cooking shows and they have this grand kitchen and we think I need that type of kitchen to be able to cook and I'm going to give you a glimpse of my kitchen right now um, I have I have my stove I have my very, very tiny uh, corner of a, whoops, sorry, I have a very tiny corner of a, of, of a counter where I do all of my food prep and a sink where I have food propped up on there. So I have a very tiny space and, uh, and then similar, um, Similar ingredients, similar constraints that so many of us have. So uh, I'm playing with the idea of calling this small kitchen grand meals or just, again, doing what we can in the kitchen, being hummingbirds, zoo fit in, in the kitchen. And I also really wanted to share something because I, we are practicing and only going out when we absolutely need to. I'm going to turn off the oven real quick. And going out to the store and I had an idea for a meal and then I realized that I didn't have uh, several of the ingredients that the meal normally calls for. So um, on my laptop I have the, I have the recipe for, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that on the screen, for cauliflower, cauliflower gratin. And that's something I've I created a, a while ago. I'm not eating a lot of cauliflower these days, and it's really good for you. But I'm really avoiding plastic, and cauliflower just is wrapped in plastic. Now romanesco and broccoli are not, so I do tend to go with those foods. And and romanesco especially is closely related to cauliflower, um, but I don't have any right now. So what I do have is broccoli, and so my thought was. I'm gonna make a broccoli gratin. And then I so I've got thing, I started getting ready for it. And then I also realized um, I'm not eating leeks right now. We're, we're practicing a, a modified whole 30 where we've eliminated all types of onions. And I don't have any cashew butter. Uh, so <laughs> so I was like, wow, this is gonna be an interesting, um, an interesting test on what to do when you want to eat healthy, you want to eat right and again staying with our constraints play with your food again I'm going to really advocating experimenting with your food so I am using broccoli I'm using broccoli instead of cauliflower and instead of nut butter or a cashew butter I actually made a a, a cashew cream sort of uh, from from another recipe book, so I'm going to show this one. I got inspired to make kind of a nut, a cashew cream from this book at, with their tuna spaghetti squash tuna casserole, which is phenomenal. And so I'm inspired to make the cashew butter from this cashew cream and then go with it. So um, again, I'm just getting started. The cooking process is a bit long, so I'm not going to go through all that. But again, I just wanted to show you just because you have a small kitchen, just because you have a lot of constraints, doesn't mean we can't uh, work with what we have, eat healthy, take care of ourselves, take care of the planet, take care of each other, uh, make sure that we're eating clean, living green, and staying positive. All right, we got this, guys.